hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to write data into a csv file in power automate desktop please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please click on the subscribe button so let's get started so to write data into a csv file what we will do is we will drag and drop the write to csv file action and here you can see that it says that write a data table data row or list to a csv file right so which means if you create a list data type and add some item into it and then if you try to write it into a csv file it will be able to accept and it will be able to write the data right similarly if you are going to read data from a csv file or from excel and the value is in the data table format you can use that variable also to write it into a csv file so first what we will do is we will use a list right so i will click on close and then i will go to the variables inside variable we have an option to create a new list and then i will click on save so the data type so the variable name is list now let's say i want to add some item into this list so let's say i want to write uh, john and i will choose the variable from here and then i will click on select i will again drag and drop and i'll put the name as mike i will choose the variable and I will click on select click on save so which means now two items will be added into this list now let's say you want to write this uh, list of values into a CSV file so I will go back to again into the file category and choose the action as write to CSV file and here you can specify the path so if you will click on this uh, variable so you can choose the variable from here and then you have to specify the path you can click on this icon and select the file so I will click on it and select the file so if you if you do not have the file already created so you can just put the file name you know with the path and at the end you can put the file name dot CSV so then this file will be automatically created here I have chosen the file so this file does not exist on my machine but when, when we will run this bot it, this file will be created so I have named the file as csv underscore file dot csv encoding will remain as utf8 and everything else we will keep at keep it as a default one then I will click on save now let's run the bot and see what happens right so I will click on run and here you can see that items are added to the list right now I'll go to and I'll open the file and here you can see that two items are added right so this is how you can write data into a csv file so the next is we want to read data from one file and then write it into a another file so whether we use launch excel to read data the values will be stored in the into the data table format or if we use read from csv then also the type of the data will be data table so what we will do is we will use read from csv file and i will select the file from where i want to read the data so here you can see that i've chosen the file right and in the advanced section i will choose the uh, first line contains column names i will enable it and then i will click on save 
so the data will be stored in the csv table data table variable i will click on save and then i will drag and drop the write to csv file i will choose the variable and then i will choose the file path where i want to write the data and then i will click on save now you will see that i will read data from book1.csv and it will be written in the csv file dot csv file right so i will run the bot now here you can see in the csv table data table you can see this is the value which has been read from the book one dot csv now i will open this csv underscore file dot csv file and here you can see that the data has been written right so this is how you can use write to csv file action in power automate desktop to write data into a csv file if the file does not exist it will be automatically created so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day